guys, it is Vlogmas. Ooh, it's so bright. It is Vlogmas day. Where's good light? Where's good here? This better. It is Vlogmas day nine. I have edited Vlogmas day eight, and it will go up soon. We're hanging out with Lincoln, and then I'm going to take a full length DAT. So that is next up on the schedule. So. Once I'm done with that, I will go through my to-do list with you guys and hopefully be able to vlog a little bit more, but it is a very long test, so it might take me a minute. <laughs> okay guys, so practice bowling test done. I was a little frustrated at first just because like my score is not bad, but it's not what I want it to be. And I ideally want to go in with my practice score being above what my like actual goal is. That way like I feel like I have a little bit of a cushion in case it's harder or stress and things like that. But I have like five more tests I'm gonna take, have a week and a half. So I'm just trying to let the frustration go and focus on what I can control. Um, so I took a little bit of a break to watch YouTube. And now I am going to probably still watch YouTube, but while I do that, work on putting the last of my animal behavior supplements into a Quizlet so I can start studying for my first final tomorrow. My second final tomorrow, I get to use all of my notes for, so I'm not quite as worried. Um, so I really want to like go hard and focus on the first one. And then probably after that, I will go return my textbooks. Um, oh, I also worked out. I did like my first little like 10 minute rowing workout just to like do something. Um, and then I'm going to actually try and record me doing my Linda Sun Lily Sabri workout. I always get self-conscious when I do it, but I'll actually try and do it, um, but yes, so I think that we're gonna watch Morgan's vlogs, um, and then we are going to work on animal behavior. Woo! -hoo! Only one more day of finals after this. Two finals, and I am done, and I can purely focus on the DAT for, like, literally a week and, like, three days, and then five days after that. I will be in Steamboat, so all that matters to me right now. <laughs> this workout has effectively killed us. Right, Lincoln? Mm-hmm, good talk. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> we are dead, and we still have another 11-minute video. So we are back in the bedroom to finish out the day. I'm letting my hair air dry for the first time since it's cut. Because normally I just dry it so I can like manage how it looks. But I kind of want to see how it's going to look dried. I think it's going to be pretty straight still just because there's not enough like... I don't know. We'll see. Um, it is currently 10.19. I am almost done with the to-do list. I'll, all I have left is to review for my animal behavior final, which I'm going to also do into tomorrow as well. But I'm going to get started with it. And then I have to read two chapters of this book that my grandma gave me to read. And I haven't had a chance to start it yet because just finals have been so crazy. But I think I'm going to try and read the prologue and chapter one. Just so I can get back into reading because I miss it. Sorry, I'm like, yeah, and it's only 16 pages, and I think it'll be kind of a nice brain break from all of the, like, reading for school stuff. Um, I already made my to-do list for tomorrow because I did not, I did not want to work on things. Um, but yeah, so I am going to, I think, read first, just to give myself a brain break. 
And then I got in some clothes from Zaffle that I'm going to do a little like haul right now, actually. Um, I was considering doing a try on haul, but honestly, that sounds like a lot of work. Um, so I wonder if it like tells me what these are. I don't think so. But so first up, I have this, I got a lot of red, but I have this red tank, cropped tank top. I believe I got all of them in a small except for the dress because I wanted the dress to have a little more length. But I have this red tank top, which tank tops are kind of like my go-to to wear around the house with sweats and like leggings and stuff like that. So that's why I'm still getting tight, uh, tank tops in the middle of winter. And then to stick with the red theme, I got this one because I figured this one could be around the house, but it also could be going out. It has these two little spaghetti straps that start super close, but then end up like further away. So got this in a small as well. It's also cropped. I thought it was cute. And then the last red tank top kind of gave me like wintry vibes even though it's a tank top and it just ties in the back that was super cute and it's like a, a drooped like slouched neck which will be cute and then I got this little blue tank top it's a little bit more cropped than I thought it was gonna be but I don't mind it'll be okay for like just around the house or with um Maybe I'll style it to go out, but it probably will be in a round, an around the house kind of tank top. Um, just because it's so short. <laughs> um, and then this one is another one that I got. Oh, sorry. It just has like fuzz on it. But it is... Okay. Sorry, I think I put the, oh wait, because this is the front, I believe, yeah. So it's like this really pretty, like, floral print, and it has like a cross open back. And then the final thing I got is this little, like, slip dress. And I got it in a medium because I always, like, the dresses are just so short from there. I'm afraid it might be a little big, but I will try it on and see. I hope it works because I really, really liked this dress. And it's like, it's like silky, like really pretty texture and like it's a glimmery, which I really, really like. So I'm going to try all those on and hope that they fit. But yeah, for now I'm going to read two chapters and just get back into reading a little bit because my grandma said this book was really, really good and she really liked it. So, plus I have to return it before I go back to campus. Well, I'd like to just so she can like give it to other people because I know a lot of people want to read it. And I leave on the 26th, which I obviously could like read on the plane and stuff like that. But once I get there, I don't think I'll be reading much. So I'm gonna try and get it going now. So yeah. Stay tuned for another update eventually. Hi, and welcome to another installation of Charles Corner. This time, I have milk. Yes, I drink milk plain. Uh, no, I am not willing to uh, admit that it's a bad thing. It's tasty, and it gives me strong bones. It's not that bad. Wonderful. And in today's episode, we'll be discussing my semester recap. Boy, oh boy. What a... On the, the usual terrible semester. COVID was, was rampant. Drama flew to the left and then and then also to the right. I really went through it. You know what? I had a good support system. I had good friends. 
and I had my girlfriend Peyton. And also, there were some highlights that I'd like to touch on. When I went down to see my friends in Boulder, that was one. When those same friends came back up to see us, another fantastic time. I think those are the, the main two. I remember going down to see Peyton's family was also very, very memorable and fun. I liked meeting a lot of people, even though the circumstances of the meeting were less than ideal. However, I digress. In short, my semester was tough, but tolerable. And I know that I shall make it through. I know I shall carpe diem and, and seize the day. <clears throat> I really want some more cliches to throw in there, but my mind is failing me. So, without further ado, I'd simply like people to remember that even though times are tough now, the vaccine is coming. So just stay home a little longer, keep that mask extra tight, and remember, milk is actually pretty tasty. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys, so it is the next day and I'm just finishing editing this vlog and I realized I never ended it. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all the things. Y'all know what you're doing. I say it every day. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. That's so trippy, because I was going to say tomorrow, but it's technically today. That's so wacky. But I will see you tomorrow for the next vlog. Bye, guys.